Hey guys, what's going on? Scott with Practical Defense Initiative doing my review for the OWL holster. This is an appendix style holster. It is leather and I decided to put my 19X in it. And as you can see in this video, I get great tuck, really good concealment, and it draws really easy from concealment. Um, this is a quality product, guys. You can see here the stitching is top notch. The construction is really, really good. Um, the molding process was pretty easy and really straightforward. Uh, get some really hot water, toss the holster into the water for a couple minutes. <clears throat> While it's doing that, get your gun in a plastic baggie, and then uh, pull it out, slide, <clears throat> slide the gun in there, and then really start working the edges. Guys, I can't really emphasize enough, really work the edges, front and back of the holster, really work the trigger guard. Um, this is key to really getting the retention that you're looking for. Um, the first time I did this, I did not spend a lot of time working the trigger guard here. Consequently, I did not really like the fit that my gun had while seated in this holster. So what I did is a few days later, I went back and did the molding process all over again, and it turned out phenomenal. As you can see, really good retention. It's not going anywhere, and you can feel when it seats in there. Just really seats in there and holds it in there. Um, so that's a really testament to this product here is the fact that um, if you don't like to fit the first time, throw it back in the water, do it again. Now I'm not gonna say you can go out and do this five or six times, nor am I gonna say that you know, I could go out there and remold this to fit my Smith & Wesson SD9. Um, but I will say, if you don't like to fit the first time for the gun, throw it back in and do it again because it will work. But if you really spend time focusing on working the edges and the trigger guard, you guys are going to be extremely happy. Um, some of the things that I really liked about this holster was the fact that it was extremely comfortable on my skin. It, I didn't experience any sweating, um, no rash or anything like that. It was really comfortable. It didn't move. And this is a full-size gun, so I could get up and sit down and move around with no issues at all. Um, Although I do like my Kydex holsters for different reasons, uh, what I've learned in the month that I've been wearing this is I like this leather holster with certain clothes that I wear or certain outfits that I wear. Um, dress pants especially, this is nice because um, it's, it's lighter and it's a little more flexible than what uh, a lot of the Kydex stuff is that I have. This holster has definitely worked its way into my EDC rotation and I'm thrilled that they sent this to me. And I just want to give a big shout out to Al Holsters. I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for something that's not Kydex, reach out to Al. Go get one of their holsters. You won't be disappointed.